Hi everyone and welcome to Anything Bikes. Deb's here. Um, today we are on video 8. Um, so we, we've got a new box which I'm really excited at. Um, I said I was going to drink wine from this but I'm actually going to drink tea because it's early in the morning um, and probably 2 is not 1 o'clock yet. Alright then, so um, let's get started and we will see what's in the box. We're changing the format of the videos so although five um, magazines come at once we're going to record two and then we're going to record another two and then the last one so that instead of an hour and 20, 25 minutes each video we're shortening the videos um, which I think will appeal to people more in the length of the videos and having them short. Cool. And um, just as mentioned, um, my glamorous assistant um, actually thought I hadn't done something properly. So undone things in the engine, which I'm going to get right now. Um, and I will show you <laughs> what he did, my glamorous assistant. Um, so on this here is the clicky clicky. Ah, look at that. Both sides. Um, so, and he thought I hadn't attached that properly. So um, my glamorous assistant undone it all and broke it. So we had to contact Dear Gustini and they very kindly sent us a whole new magazine, the spare part, so we clicky clicky again, um, and um, he repaired it. So um, this is a new spare part, so I just want to say thank you for Dear, Dear Gustini for sending it. The name of the person who sent it was Vita, so we don't actually know whether female or male um, but anyway thank you for sending it Vita so we have our clicky clicky back and my glamorous assistant will learn not to undo the work that I've already done correctly thank you mm. <laughs> That's right so now we're gonna open the box and have a look in I'm gonna show you the whole box and um, then, like I say, we're going to cut the videos up into three parts for each box. I've not... Oh. Wrong box! <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is actually... I'll show you. Um, this is quite funny. <laughs> this shows you that I don't even look in the boxes. This is where we keep all the... Um, we're keeping all the editions um, in here, so I picked the wrong box up. My glamorous assistant is going to get me the right box. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> We've got the right box. Um, let's open it. Have a look. Turn it that way. So we have some very interesting things. Okay, let me take them all out. I'll take these out. And so next to one side. So we have edition 32, 33, 34. 35 and 36 so and then we have all of these goodies yay what do we have okay I'm going to put them to one side So we will do in this video 32 and 33. I'm going to put them to one side. So 
edition 32. Let's have a look. Wow. First 500cc victory. Rossi challenged two veterans, Kenny Roberts Jr. and Jeremy McWilliams, on their own turf and came out on top. Doesn't he always? We went to Donington, um, July, June, July, um, for the World Superbikes, and that was amazing. Loved it. Weather was shit, um, but the racing was brilliant. Yeah. And I've got to say this: we did a pit walk, and we paid for a pit walk, and the. Um, the pit walk was at five o'clock till quarter six, so 45 minutes. We queued up, got in to the, do the pit walk, and there was hardly any of the riders there. Guess where they were? They were giving free autographs in the, what's it called? In the paddock. Um, and um, basically they'd been called to the paddock at the same time as the pit walk so I felt that was really appalling so if anyone's watching this, which I doubt from Donington or from World Superbikes um, or anyone really yeah, Dorma um, I'd like you to know that we were very angry because we didn't get to see many riders we got to see some who very kindly stayed behind and didn't go to the paddock um and um those who did shame on you really because it wasn't really good so that's my say back to this <laughs> right what an amazing picture okay At the slippery Donington Park track we were just talking about in 2000, Valentina's rear wheel spun at the start and the Italian lost places before making a long, incredible recovery that ended in victory. Very nice. We're just going to stop there to do the lighting. Okay, sorry about that. We needed to sort the lighting out. Um, we are novices at this and are trying to get the cameras right and the lighting right. We've still not got it right, but it doesn't shine off the paper anymore. Um, so, yeah, if anyone has any ideas, please um, make a comment below and let us know what cameras, what lighting, how you set yours up, and um, we'll be really, yeah, interested to hear from you. So... Let's get back to this. Um, this is Give Us A Hand, the Mizano 2014 helmet. That's his helmet. Oh, it's got the kisses on there, look. Give Us A Hand. It says there in Italian. Nice. So, look. Valentino Rossi's unexpected victory at Donington Park on July 9, 2000 immediately put him on a par with the greats of motorcycle sport. Perfect. This is, ooh, lovely clutch hub and plates. We'll get to that in a minute. This is how we are going to be doing it. And then back to 2004 season, race by race, the Malaysian Grand Prix. The controversies of Qatar faded away as the results became clear. In Malaysia, Valentino took pole position, fastest lap and first place. The champion was heading towards his first world title with Yamaha. Perfect. And then I love seeing this last page because that's what we're going to end up with, hopefully. Um, yeah, nice. Right, so we will do this bit. Put that there. And guess what? I don't have my knife. My glamorous assistant is just going to get it for me. Perfect. Thank 
Thank you, glamorous sister. Right. Um, right bag. So in here we have clutch hub, centering, first plate, and three intermediate plates. And let's see what we do with these. Right, so we do open this back. Let's open it carefully. Okay. Still no bin behind me. I'm going to have to get a bin on time. Um. Perfect. Right, step one. Take the clutch hub, part A. Just going to take this out. Um, and the first plate, part C, the two circles in the photo indicate the groove in the plate that must slide over a rib on the hub for correct assembly. Clutch hub part A. And the first plate part C. Turn the page. So A, B, C. And then their D's. So their D's. Let's move them there. Their part D. That's a B, and that's a C. Perfect. So, um, take the clutch hub part A, that's that one, and the first plate part C, that's that one, I'm guessing. No, then we'll go back, sorry. Part C. Yes, it is part C. Um, and the dorsal cores indicate the groove. Which is there. Can you see that? That's a groove. Okay. Um, in the plate, that must slide over a rib on the hub for correct assembly. So they've got it that way. And that slides over there. I love it when it's easy. Step two, place the first plate over the clutch hub as shown in the photo. The side of the plate that has notches around the outer edge should face upwards. That way. So I've done that. Um, well, the plain side should face the base of the drum. That's what we've done. Perfect. Note how the groove in the plate fits over the rib identified in step one as indicated in the yellow circle. Excellent. Step three. Now take the three intermediate plates, parts D. That's these three. These three components are identical and it does not matter which way up they go. The three small yellow circles in the photo indicate the grooves that locate them on the rib on the clutch hub. Aha. So it doesn't matter what side they go. That's one. Two. Three. Fit the three plates. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Sorry. I'm just so excited about doing it. 
um, fit the three plates over the hub one after the other, aligning the groove in each plate with the rib so that they can slide into place. So that's what we've done, look. Perfect. Step five, now take the centre ring part B, which is that, as shown by the yellow arrows. It has two tabs that match the pair of locating posts, projecting from the middle of the clutch hub. It also has a notch like the other plates, as circled in yellow. There. These three located points will only fit onto the hub when the ring is this way up. that way. Step 6. Fit the ring over the locating parts as circled in yellow. Be careful not to force it into place or you may break the post. Check that the notches has engaged with the rib in the clutch hub. So, that's those two. Yes, the right way around. Just making sure. That one's in. Final result, this shows the outer side of the fully assembled clutch. Store it safely for the next assembly session, making sure the plates do not slip off. They're quite tightly on, actually, so they won't slip off. Right, let's put that there. Tuck them there. Is issue 32. Issue 33. Let's have a look. Valentino the Rally Driver. Valentino was a regular participant in the Monza Rally Show, which he won multiple times. <laughs> I love his helmet there, it looks pretty neat. Okay, there's this car. Let me move that into shot. There we go. So, Valentino's passion for racing cars began even before his passion for motorcycles. He is seen here cornering on two wheels at the 2017 Monza Rally Show, which he won. Perfect. I think Valentino would... Um, be amazing in any form of transport. Here we go. So we've got some records at the Saxon Ring. Um, we've got five victories, 1999, 2002, 2005, 2006, 2009. Three one fastest lap, 2002, and two pole positions, 1999 and 2009. And this article is around the Saxon Ring. Valentino came first at the Saxon Ring in 2009 after a magnific 
a magnificent pumpety thing duel with Lorenzo, beating him to the line by just 99 one thousandths of a second. Wow. Okay. With this one, we have oil feed cover and final clutch parts. Perfect. And this is, oh, we go back to the engine. Nice. This is what we're going to be doing today. Okay. And then the 2004 season race by race, the Australian Grand Prix. So that is what that article is about. Perfect. Shall we do some screwing? Come on. Oh God, I'm going to stop saying that. Right. Oil field cover and final clutch parts. Let's find that packet. I think it's this one. Yes. So... Let's undo it. Oh. That came out. Thank you. <laughs> that was my glamorous assistant helping there. Um, right. Okay. So we've got oil feed cover, which is A, which is this one. Short hose there, clutch pressure plate, which is C, that one, friction plate D, that one, and clutch centre, that one. Excellent. What do we need to do? Okay. So, step one, take the engine assembly and locate the area indicated by the yellow circle in the photo. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's just started. Absolutely. Chucking it down with rain. Here we go. Right. Don't want to lean it on a clicky clicky thing. Okay, so um, we need to indicate that, we need to find that, should I say. So they've got it, ah, there it is. Can you see that? Just there, that's where they're pointing. Um, this is where the oil feed cover part A, that one. Fits by matching or the shape of the moulding and pressing the two locating pins arrowed in the circular photo into the two holes in the crankcase. So step two, mount the oil feed cover as shown and press down firmly to ensure that it fits flush. Okay, which way round did they? Goes that way. Okay, just going to, I don't touch it now because it, it doesn't feel delicate, but I don't want to break anything we've already done. How are we in? Ha, yes. Look. That's in. Can you see that? Might be a little bit dark, but it's there. Perfect. Okay. So let's put it that side. Put it down. Um, step three take the free end of the hose coming out of the cylinder head and press it firmly into the hose connector circled in the picture. So this is 
this hose and we are going to put it over is it the left or the right they've done I think it's the right one there This is trouble when you don't know anything about motorbikes. See, that's there, that's there, and we've got to twist that one. But it's tiny. I wish they'd show you better pictures than this. We've got it that way. And we're showing. That side, so that's that, it's that one. Water. To make, right, my dad assistant has just got me some water. Water, sorry. Thank you. Let's see if it helps. How do they expect that to go over? I'm going to have to put something in there and just got anything to write in it a little bit. Done. Okay. Can you see that? Not sure how long that was staying there, but <laughs> it seemed okay. So um, now locate the two hose connected indicated by the yellow circles. Press both ends of the short hose onto those so that the result looks like the circular photo. So got that way. And we've got okay, that way. And we've got That one behind there, and that one coming out there. So, I need to... And then this one... Goes, I don't know if you can see me doing that, goes in there. Down there, look. And then it goes... Round 
onto here. Yay, done it! Look! There you go. Right, I'm trying to not knock things off now. Step five, now take the clutch presser plate, pressure plate, <laughs> um, part C, and friction plate part D, I did that the wrong way around I think, um, and press the locating pins on the underside of part D onto the outermost holes in part C, as shown by the yellow lines. Fit the clutch centre, part E, to the pressure plate by pressing the two locating pins on part E into the remaining holes in part C as indicated by the yellow circles and arrows. So, it's that way round, that way round, and they're asking for that to go in there. In, I think it is. Yes. Okay. Take the clutch assembly from issue thirty two, which was this, and fit the assembly from step six by pressing the pins on the underside of the pressure plate into the holes on top of the clutch. After assembly, the clutch, clutch should look like this. So that needs to go on there as well. Snap in. Okay. If any of the parts are loose, you can secure them with a few drops of glue. <laughs> Um, step 9. You are now ready to fit the clutch to the engine. Locate the two holes in the back, circled in yellow. There. That's that one there. Two holes. Um, and press them firmly onto the two mounting posts as shown by the yellow arrows. But we can do that. Yeah, it's done it. 
After assembly, the engine should look like this with completed clutch in place. Yes. That's what we did. Show you from different angles. Ain't that great? Lovely. And that's it. So, that is issue 33. And we're going to end it there for video 8 and we um, kind of want to thank you for being with us today and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. If you have, please subscribe, like and share the video and anything you want to um, say, please kind of send... <gasps> where you can add comments. Um, so feel free to add comments and um, send us your views and opinions. All right, thank you. Bye.